Let's go! Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs! Let's, let's go ahead first, get rid of this Intercontinental Championship. Let's tell the people what's going on today. We're doing a giveaway, we're doing a flip the switch challenge, all kinds of crazy shenanigans, man. This Intercontinental WWE figure artist, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. There's a link in the description below. You need to go follow him, dude. If you need help with any custom figure belts, he is the right man to go with, and he has come here to help out all of you. I mean, really, not just the WHF fam, but I'm talking about all those new people that might be stopping into the channel for the very first time he threw in an extra and this is where the giveaway is going to come into play it's going to go live this weekend on one of these one is for my own personal collection and the other is going to be for one of you lucky fans more details to come subscribe come join the hottest selling wwe figure artist customizer in the game well actually we're not selling anything I'm telling you man i'm giving it to you for free i want you guys to have one of these I don't need two. I just need one because Sami Zayn, he asked me, he's like, Hero Fix, you're going to do something about that Intercontinental Championship? Well, it was uh, when it was around the waist of Braun Strowman, honestly, there was no interest. I mean, there was, I ain't going to lie, but at the same time, when he captured the gold, this right here, this needed to happen, and it's happening today, right now, and we're going to bring it up close to the frame, dude. I ain't going to go ahead and review both of them because both of them are identical, so right here, we'll put it right there for one of you lucky fellas. Or ladies, whoever decides to check out. Wait, hold on. Before I show you this, I want to show you this Sami Zayn. Hero Fakes, what are you doing over there, man? You putting pants on Sami? We are doing it. You guys didn't see the new look? I mean, it wasn't like a full blown out green camo. But these pants right here from Choppa, they're working. They're the closest thing that I could find. I was thinking about doing like some torso swapping and stuff. But I was like, you know what? I think the people will love this. If they want to get their updated Sami Zayn, this is a great way to do so. This is terrible. Still got to fix that loose arm, man. That Lucy Goosey is still strong with this gentleman. All right, let's get into the belt. Here it is. Here is the Intercontinental Championship gold. We got WWE logo up front. They got the side plates right there. I mean, really, the only thing that's missing is the little nameplate for Sami Zayn. But then when it comes to any WWE figure belt, at least for the figures, they've never really captured that. So it's not like anything we can take away. Plus, I mean, if we do get a brand new championship, you gotta be screwed, though. Really, anything else as far as change? It's just been the strap. They just changed the color. They said, we're going to give you a women's belt. We'll just make it white. And we're going to give you the Universal Championship over on Raw. We'll just make it blue. No, hold on. Over on SmackDown. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this this took some thought process. It would, they actually sat down. There was an actual designer be, behind it. It wasn't just Vince McMahon saying, this belt right here, this is what's going to go down here in the near future. And WWE figure artist, I'm going to tell you, his work has always been top notch here on the channel. Or anybody that is pick these up anybody that has picked one up first of all go in the comments let me know if you ever gotten anything from him i'm sure a lot of you can attest to this he, he uses like this strap material that gives it like a real like leather look to it all in the inside it's just a solid white but again this is going to be around the waist of Sami Zayn, so it's not going to change anything and he doesn't stop there apart from all the detail on the side designs and the actual like main plate of it all oh, dude this is so beautiful we got the world right behind that that WWE logo and I know it's really hard to pick up but right underneath it you can actually see intercontinental right there and then as well coming across all the way up top and on the bottom we got champion but yes the buckles they are there these are not functional it's not like you insert them like a WWE belt like this one actually has holes where you plug it into this just has the look of it like the authenticity of what it actually, what an actual belt should look like. That's what we're seeing right here. But it's actually, it comes together by Velcro. So it doesn't have to be just Sami Zayn. Like if you have, like for example, like Braun Strowman, the previous uh, owner or the previous champion for the Intercontinental Champ, you can fit it around just around the waist of any superstar. This right here is just giving you an idea of how you can adjust it. I mean, you can bring it closer if you really want. For Sami though, I mean, we got to bring all three of them. This is so awesome. We got Cesaro over here now keep in mind this is done right here prior to the filming of smackdown so if any of these guys ended up turning on my bro just know that filming it was done earlier prior but here it is all three lads all congratulating him saying you deserve it sammy you do man what was it nxt i feel like it was nxt the last time that we saw this man with gold and this is looking just as good as it did back then again if you guys want to pick these up i'm gonna put a link in the description below go hit him up he does great 
great work, man. He's done the, he's actually good. He's doing the Fiend belt. So, if you guys want to see something like, you know, within that realm, I know we've put it up on the channel, but his work, dude, it's very, very impressive. And the other stuff. All right. So we were going to do the, the flip the switch challenge. We also got something before we do that. I want to go ahead and do this one. I want to get this one unpackaged. This is for my guy, custom figure shirts. One that's always here on the channel regular. Well, we're putting you back on the channel regularly, so there was a little gap in between. But just know, my friend, that we need some stuff right here for a couple of figgies, man. We got a couple of shirts from AJ. We got one for AJ Styles, and then we got also for Keith Lee. Trying to bask in the glory, this figure, this shirt is going to really complete it. You know, the basic, that was the first introduction of this figure, of this man, actually, not figure, but of this gentleman over down in NXT. So, some stuff, and I know a lot of you, I know it's not just me, but some that do display their basics within their elites. This is uh, this is just an idea of what you could do just to kind of have them all blend in because it really throws it off, man. Something about how it sits on the shelf, like with the basic torso and every other figure being elite i mean yeah we can do a we can do a conversion we already made one for the other one i might do one for the blue i got some other stuff that i have in store here for you so if you're stopping by to the channel for the first time right there man you see that subscribe button and the like man there's always the like button and if you dislike it don't tell me go tell your mom and be like hero fix is trash today man i couldn't stand him he was talking he was blabbering way too much and he never showed us what the brand new merch for aj styles looks like yes i will man of course i mean that's the reason why i decided to hit record on that camera today so you guys can come join me you don't just want to be sitting there wondering if how it played out i know hero fix talked about it but how did it look once it was finally on aj the oc the first actually yes the first oc shirt that i own i don't have one for gallows or uh wait carl anderson i don't have one for carl anderson or luke gallows but i needed it for my red custom aj styles for my boy rko 1974 i'm missing you my bro i know you took a break but just know that the whf fam they are missing you strong right here and look at this man both of them look just so good and this is what it was missing like i have a vest for it so just know that it like once it's all completed like once it's all wrapped up with the actual entrance vest this thing is just gonna i mean the word phenomenal i don't know if that'll describe it but it'll be pretty damn close to what you have right there now let's go ahead let's do the challenge if you guys don't follow either of these two men on instagram you need to do so <laughs> These guys are for, especially Matt Riddle. He's always getting a kick out of me. I'm always laughing. He's always posting, and not just on Instagram, but also on Twitter. So, tag team champions right here. This is what I want to do. We're doing the flip the switch. They've been doing it with their attires, and I really want to do it with these two. And I'm going to go ahead and take you through it all. We'll do the process right here on the channel today. So, a couple of things. One, we need to get the lower legs switched over to, well, I don't know. Do you guys want to do it on this one? I guess I can't really ask it because, I mean, I already did the video, so <laughs> there's really no going back. But should we do the legs? Sw I'm still, I I I'll have to choose. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Once we start doing the whole process, I'm sure we'll figure it out by then. But I'm going to go ahead and put the lower legs right here and put it onto one of these Pete Dunn's so it has the full look of it. And then we're also going to do a head swap so that way the original bro, he's got the matching look to, you know, just to have it right there with his tag team it's gonna look sick man just trust me go let's go with it and uh <laughs> let's get the work in All right, this is pure gold, man. We didn't just do the flip the switch. I actually did one up because earlier on the week before they were even doing this, Matt Riddle actually had dressed up as Pete Dunn. So I'll show you that first, and then I'll show you the flip the switch. We had a couple extras for when it came to... I told you, man, when we're on those toy hunts, I'm not kidding when we need stuff for customs. So I popped the head off that extra one that we just found. So I could do the full on look. And I also had, I don't know who this UFC guy is, but I had one laying around. So I used the lower legs and I took those off and I put it on right there. Check it out. Now we have like the matching look. Well, obviously I can't have them side by side right now because he has the same Matt Riddle head scan on, but I'll put the other one on so you guys can get a good idea and then we'll post it up on Instagram. So again, right here prior to the whole flip the switch, this is kind of the look, the matching tag team look that they had going on. You had it down. Hold on. You got to do it right. We have it. We have to have 
have it coming across the mouth area like he's biting it down just like Pete. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right, show him the flip the switch now, Hero Fix. Now that we showed him this, I don't think he's going to stand, man. Some about those UFC legs, they just never stand properly. All right, here's the flip the switch. So we got the Pete done on the Matt Riddle, and then we have the Matt Riddle on the Pete Dunn. So from right here, this is all on full-on head swap, but I am going to put the head scan back on and then repost it so we can have, again, this is what they need to do, man. They need to kind of get into, the well, I don't know if you would be into that kind of style. I think it would have to be Pete Dunn that would have to kind of have like a matching trunks look if they wanted to go full-blown full out as a tag team. So as you flip the switch, oh, wait, the light's still on. We don't have dimmers here, fix. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing that I wanted to show you during the process that I forgot to mention was what we talked about in the previous video. I wanted to get my Messiah. I wanted to get the head scan, the most recent one, onto it. So that's kind of what it all looks like, man. Let's bring it all up to the frame. See what went all down. We did flip the switch. We did the matching look right there for Matt Riddle. We got a couple of shirts, and we got the best thing of it all, man. We have the Intercontinental Championship on Sami Zayn. Keep in mind as well, this is going to go live. This is going to be a giveaway there'll be more information go follow me on instagram we'll go ahead and get it up if not this weekend sometime this week and it's just gonna be epic man i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one